morning. There's only one way to know the will of God, and that's through love. Amen. To know the will of God, you must first know God. Amen. You'll never know the will of God without knowing God. Right. Come on. Right. <laughs> and you can't know God without loving God. And if you love God, you'll have a clear understanding of what God's will is. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that God is love. And what I've got to understand this morning is that I need to love God first and foremost even more than I love myself. That's right. That's right. Let me ask you a question. Do you love God enough that you'll let God's will override yours? If you can't love your neighbor, then you can't love God. And you will never, I mean never, understand the will of God without love. And I mean complete love. Yeah. That means loving people that don't love you. Amen. Well, I'll love them if they'll love me. That ain't the way it works. Yeah. That means loving people that do harm to you. That means loving people that you think are sinners and are going to hell. That means loving people that you do not agree with. And it also means loving your enemies. Amen. Oh, it's quiet here this morning. We throw love around like a... We, we throw love around as a word and we don't even know what love is. Come on. Do you really love God? Love is the most misused word in the English language. Amen. That's the truth. Most people don't know what love is. They say it because it sounds good. I've heard people say, oh, they get up and, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. Well, the Lord said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So if you ain't keeping the word of God, if you ain't doing what the Bible says doing, if you ain't even keeping the Ten Commandments, then you don't love God. Right. Saying I love you is just words unless they're proven. I can tell my wife I love her all day long. I can say I love you, honey. I can say, oh, you're my baby. I love you more than anything in this world. But Brother Todd, if I never put anything into action that show her I mean business, if I never, if I never give of myself, if I never allow myself to put her first, if I always put what I want first, if I always, I'm preaching this morning, if I always put what I need first, then all I have done is call her words that don't mean anything. That's right. Amen. And I can tell you without hesitation that my wife loves and knows God. Amen. Now people say, well, she ain't been in church for just a little while. It's okay. If you won't talk to me about that after church, I'll tell you why. It's because she's been loving someone that loved her her whole life. Right. And she's been taking care of that person. Not just saying, I love you, Granny. Yeah. But showing her. Right. Amen? Right. Because you go to church every, you go to church every time the door's open and I have love. That's right. <laughs> Come on. That's right. I said, you can show up every time the door's open and not have love for somebody. She's one of those people that if she says, God, I'm kind of glad she ain't here because she would have been embarrassed today. She's kind of one of those people that if she said God showed her something, you better listen because he did. Right. Mm -hmm. right. She don't talk a lot. She sits in the corner. She don't shout very often. I can count on my fingers how many times she shouted since we've been pastor. She don't cry a whole lot in church. She just does what she does. But Sister Hazel, I see how she lives her life at home when we're not here. Right. right. And I can tell you right now, compared to her, I still got a lot to work on. You've got to get close to God so you will know God's will. You've got to be close enough to God to where you can see things that's going to happen. Thank you, Lord. You say, oh, I don't believe in all that stuff. Well, you sit there and not believe in it, but I do. It's real. That's going through something in their mind that you just can't get out of your mind. And you don't have peace. But I want to tell you right now, if you truly know the will of God, you can speak peace over any situation in your life. 
And you got to love him with everything you got. And you got to put everything aside for him. And that means do making him number one. Amen. And when you do, he will reveal his will to you. When you know him and have a better understanding of who he is, then you will know how to pray in any situation. Thank you, Lord.